Okay, so me and Brooke are on our way up north to meet up with Cam Wagner. You guys have seen him in the videos before. We fished with him and his brother Cole. We're gonna be looking to chase some mullet pods off the beach, try to catch some big jacks and tarpon. I got Brooke with me, and I am an idiot and brought everything except my tackle box, which has absolutely everything that we need in it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna go stop by a little tackle shop and pick up some leader and hooks, but we have no lures or anything to throw. So it's probably gonna be a live bait mission and that's it. Brick wants to start her own YouTube channel. Do you guys think she should? If you guys think she should, maybe you should comment below. Maybe Brooke just needs some motivation. Maybe if she gets 100 comments below, she'll start her own YouTube channel. Who knows? Can't show anyone those bananas. I'm showing the whole world tagging Cam Wagner. Okay. Banana pancakes. <laughs> We're having banana pancakes for breakfast. They're banana pancakes. I didn't want to say anything. I'm glad you said that. Want to learn how to tie an FG knot? Follow the link below. We already made a video. What are you doing? Making an FG knot and putting a super spook on. All you can hear is the two stroke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Live mullet on bull shark barge. Didn't hit it hard at all. No. Just slowly picked it up. Big Zero. head shakes. Maybe it is a Short cove. Runs. I'm Coming guessing. I'm guessing cove or Jack Ravel. Coming up. Oh, Damn. If you hook the cuda, that's a good possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility, but usually they take off. One. But he's coming up. He's coming straight up. Cuda. It's a cuda. So Damn, cuda him. on mono. Thirty pounds. Damn, that's a big cuda. Should we kill him? On a finger mullet. Do you want him? Yeah, it's a cuda. Do you want him? Do you want him? Oh. I don't have a cooler to take him home, to be honest with you. No, I thought we had a cute fish. There he goes. Off? Cut you? It's on, it's on, it's on! Oh, shit. Oh, I got cut off. Cam's got a king on and I just got cut off. You fell, hooked him in the tail. Oh, Ow. Look at this, come here. How did you oh even... Oh my God, put that on Listen, the listen to this. Lassoed, lassoed. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I've never seen Get that. Get closer, Victor, you can't see anything with that. Lassoed him. Today's music is brought to you by Yamaha. <laughs> 200. Why'd you cut the music, bro? Oh, is it a little shark? Man, we pissed off. Sharks and boats do not mix. Snake kings are thick. On bottom. Right here. I'm trying to catch a king on a, on a bass rod right now with some live mullet and a long shank hook and 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm here with my good buddy Cam, you guys have seen him wrestle some sharks on the beach with his brother Cole. Cole's the crazy one who uh, doesn't use pliers and just takes circle hooks out of lemon sharks' mouths it's kind of a by fam. hand. We don't it's need a family it. tradition for them. We don't need pliers. No. They don't believe in pliers. They don't believe in keeping their fingers either though, apparently. I'm good still. I got ten fingers. Running the beach was a bust this morning. Yeah. No fish was, no fish or mullet running the beach. So it's a good thing we got mullet back at the boat ramp. Yeah. I was making fun of him because I thought the mullet were going to be all over the beach and there was going to be pots of mullet on the beach. It's a good thing we did net some because there's no mullet out here at all. And there's giant swells on the beach, so it's going to be kind of difficult to fish out there. So that's why we came out here. Saltwater fish on bass gear today. Whoa! Woo! On the bass rod! Ready to chase it down? Yeah, we actually might have to. I have like 10 wraps. 
Look at that. Ten wraps. When your first fish on your bass setup is a king. No, it's definitely a king. It screamed. What if it is a cobe? Oh, you see that color? King on you. Yeah, that's right. See, what happened here was there's some lily pads out here and I flipped my frog into it and uh, Kingfish just decided to eat it. Out here on Lake Okeechobee. Kingfish. Kingfish. Smoked fish dip is what it's like. Mono, long shank hooks in the corner of the mouth. That's how you go. Been a live mullet. Oh, that was about to break. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to be half of Yeah. Was that actually fun? This is so much fun. It's a, ba <laughs> it's a bass rod. Come on. Free. My worm fell off, but there was actually a worm on here, I swear. Texas rig. Yeah. You gotta be very careful with these teeth. Why? Are they sharp? Yeah, they'll rip your fingers off. They look kind of gold to me. Just test it out. You should always carry pliers on you, but... What you got on? Uh, king? <laughs> king on your mullet? Yeah. That was a smoker, wasn't it? Brick's got a king on. She was flatlining a little mullet about this big with those little long chain hooks that we showed you guys earlier. And there's a bunch of blue runners blowing up over there. There's a lot of life going on. Blue runners are going ham. Sardines everywhere. Yeah, that is a lot of fish. All blue runners just eating. Ooh, nice. Good one. You ripped that thing, Cam. What? You you ripped him. That was deep. That was a deep gas shot. I know. There goes the lens cap. Good job. So we got four kings so far little snake kings that are gonna be some good fish dip later. So this is gonna be in a future video, but Cam is gonna show you guys how to fillet kingfish when you're trying to make smoked kingfish dip, okay? Pretty simple. You're not really taking the skin off or nothing, so you make a nice diagonal cut up to the head. Take your knife, run down his spine. Once you get towards the tail, you can Wow, look at Poke that technique. it all the way through. Cut it open. And on the other side, you just find the other bottom part of the spine. Run it back all the way up to the top. And then, come down. Right along the bones? Right along the bones. Don't cut your fingers off. Okay. This one had eggs. See how small of a king it is and it already has eggs, the breeder. But so then why do you, we leave the skin on because when you smoke it, it actually, you can peel it off and it's not worth your time to try to skin it, right? Nah, because the skin's mushy. mushy. And it helps keep the meat together because the meat's a little mushy too. Yeah, and you can leave these bones on too, right? Yeah, because you can pick them out right when you, uh, when you're, after you get done smoking it because it just flakes right off. All right, thank you. 100% a local's place. Their entire restaurant is covered by giant freaking jungle. Yay hi. So this is Cam and Cole's spot. The local spot in Hope Sound. The dirty little bar. Yeah, but they have really good food. Because we got buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken. One pitcher, one man. Can he do it? What do you got? We don't Buffalo chicken. We don't promote Pretty uh, chickeny out here. I'm gonna let Cam close out the video. 
So we're at our uh, favorite bar here, Scooters in Hope Sound. If you guys are ever in the area, check it out. If you watch the end of the video, I want you guys. more enthusiastic than loud. Okay. Brooke wants to do it. <laughs> just kidding. No, do it, Brooke. Come on, you. <laughs> okay, if you guys are ever in the area, you guys better check out Scooters. It, make sure you watch the <laughs> I thought that was about. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's, right, I'm dyslexic. Alright, right. please don't have it close to my face. I hate that. Alright, if you watch to the end of the video, make sure you comment below Scooters. Make sure to subscribe and like the video.